Greetings YouTube, this is Bill Stiver again from thriveforms.org or tabletroms.com. Uh, so at this point, as you saw from my from an earlier video, I have both a new Thrive and I'm unrooted. It's the latest Honeycomb 3.2.1 build, and I'll show you later. And also, uh, I've got a new laptop, so there's that. So in the meantime, because I'm unrooted, let me show you by trying to reboot into Fastboot. Toshiba took out Fastboot, as you see from the fact that there are actually only two icons here. The recovery icon and the normally boot Android icon. So, I'm going to go ahead and reboot into Android so that I can actually root this bad boy. Alright. Now, from a previous video, I have actually installed the ADB drivers already, and there is another rooting video out, more recent than my previous one, that is pretty updated. However, that was using Dale PL's tool. This is a Windows GUI, or graphical user interface. Somebody actually made one. So, if, and I will post the link down below in the forum, down below in the... Uh, description. Alright, so at thriveforms.org, the Tybar Universal Root Tool for Windows. This is where you download it. When you download it, you will see... Okay... Oh, thought I had this selected, sorry, my bad. Alright, when you download it... Sorry. It's in this folder with all my zip files that I've downloaded. Top bar 1.0 zip. You extract it to that folder, and this is what you see. All right. ThriveTool.exe. When you run it, uh, this pops up. Now, he also included a way to install the ADB drivers as well. Since I've already done that, I'm not going to bother with that. Alright, my tablet is still booting. That's why I'm showing not connected. So in the meantime, I'll show you help about tie bar through a rooting tool and then help, help. And my Thrive is booted, but let me show you this pretty much will walk you through the steps. So be sure to read the help, help, help. And as you can see, it's, a, it's like it's right in Windows. So if you haven't installed the ADB drivers yet, you must do this first. I have installed the ADB drivers. All right, connect your tablet. The model and build fields should populate. So zoom back out just to catch all of this. Now, okay, so I'm going to connect my Thrive's USB. It's connected to the mini USB port right there. All right, so since I have USB debugging connected, like the model and build field should populate, which model AT100, build number HTK 55D, 31, 5, and then 0002. Now, press temp root to enable the rest of the buttons. This will temporary, temporarily break your sound. Temp root. Okay, close that. Temp root. Please wait. Now, currently it is rebooting my Thrive, just to let you know. Alright, now I'm connected with temp root. Alright, so now all the other options are available.
first things first, I want to install Fastboot because without Fastboot, you can't do anything. So, install Fastboot. First things first is it downloads it. Now it's rebooting. Okay, my Thrive has now finished rebooting. Now, just to double check what step we are at next, go to Help Again. We have Temp Rooted. We have installed the Fastboot, step four. Five, press Rooted Boot Image to install a Rooted Boot Image and allow the next two steps to work. Rooted Boot Image. And as you can tell, we are downloading. Okay, here we are again. Now, it's rebooted after the modif the rooted boot image. Now, hit help. What's next? Six, press Clockwork Mod Recovery to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. You must have a rooted boot image for this to work. Clock Clockwork Mod Recovery. And once again, we're downloading. <coughs> All right, so here we are again. We've got, as you can see, we've done all these things up to recovery. Now, once again, check, press step seven, press install super user to install the super user package and the BusyBox utility. Install super user. Once again, we're downloading, and like before, it will automatically install. First thing, it downloaded Super User. Now it's downloading BusyBox, both of which are required for root access for rooted apps. Okay, now that those are installed and in place, Hit remove temp root. It'll reboot, but since all those super user and busy box and everything and clockwork mod is in place, you should be rooted. And I'm going to come back after a short break to show you that I'm rooted. And we're back. So since I've done all these steps, I should be completely rooted with Fastboot as well have Clockwork Mod Recovery. Not exactly Clockwork, but a form of a Clockwork Mod Recovery that was compiled specifically for the Toshiba Thrive. Now, let's find out if we actually have root. Let's open up Super User. Zoom in so you can actually see the screen here. Okay. There should be where is that? SU binary, check for updates. Current version already installed, no action required, but just to make sure that I'm rooted, I hit update anyway. Downloading new binary, granting root access, allow, and I'm rooted. Please reboot to finish the update. Okay. Now, to finish, well, I'll go ahead and reboot just because I can. I'm going to shut down normally. Just why not? And while I'm here, I'm going to boot into Fastboot to make sure that I have Fastboot. And as you can see, I am loading the Fastboot USB protocol 
which installing device driver software searching pre-configured folders voila I'm ready to use and thrive ADB interface close I've got fast boot